Eric and Eric here with Muskie Home Brewing. Today we're bottling our batch of beer, and it sucks. It's gonna be more painful than a stomach ulcer. All right, so there's a few things you guys need to pick up before you start bottling. Um, you need to pick up at least three buckets, one for water, one for sanitizer, and another one is a bottling bucket. Uh, you can pick that up at your local homebrew store. You also need an auto siphon to siphon your beer out of your fermenter into your bottling bucket. And you need a bottling wand so that you can put your bottles up to the bottling wand and easily fill your bottles from the bottling bucket. You also need a bottle capper with some caps, a little bag of priming sugar, and a small uh, saucepan to make your priming sugar in. So when starting your priming sugar, we take about a cup of water from the sink, put it in here, boil it, and then we add the five ounce bag of priming sugar into the water. You can vary it a little bit. We tend to use three quarters of the bag instead of the whole bag. Uh, the whole bag gives you higher carbonation and the finished product. When you're carbonating your beer or storing it, do not store it in a high temperature area. So try to store it below 70 degrees. If you store it in too high of a temperature, your bottles could explode. You're gonna get too too much carbonation or when the pop the top off, all the beer shoots out of the bottle. That's happening. Oh it's probably a good thing if you guys drink a lot of beer to keep your bottles. Um, we keep the bottles of beer we drink and just scrub the labels off and rinse them out sanitize them and just reuse them. It's a lot cheaper than going out and buying bottles at your local homebrew store. We'll include a list in the description of some bottles that we have found where the labels fall off very easily. Moist. So Eric's gonna start by sanitizing some bottles and I'm gonna start by raking our beer from our fermenter into our bottling bucket. Sanitize everything. sanitizing away at the bottles. We have our beer transferred to our bottling bucket. And so our next step is to add the priming sugar to the bottling bucket with the beer in it. And we just add three quarters of it. You just want to stir it enough to mix it around a bit. You don't want to splash it around too much. If you guys have any questions make sure to leave a comment below uh, we'll be happy to answer them and we'll see you guys next time for another episode of Mosky Homebrew.